November 2021 saw close to 40,000 delegates attend the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference in the hope to mitigate damage to our planet. A focal point was the future of aviation. In total, we have anywhere between 5 and 10 percent of the total human climate impact today caused by aviation. And aviation is one of the fastest growing uh, industries or fastest growing polluters. So it is really important to have a solution there. One solution to keeping us in the skies but not damaging Earth is hydrogen planes. Zero Avia flew the world's first ever commercial sized plane on only hydrogen. So what we're doing with hydrogen electric planes, um, we have the same type of propulsors, propellers or fans, but they're rotated by electric motors. And electricity is coming from hydrogen. Unlike traditional jet-fueled planes, hydrogen promises zero emissions. Assuming that hydrogen is created using the uh, zero emission process, which is what we do, the only emission is uh, low temperature water vapor. But some are still skeptical about going thousands of feet into the air with such new technology. With hydrogen will be different and I think maybe yes, I will be afraid a little bit. While the technology is relatively new, Zero Avia CEO insists it is safe. The fundamentals of uh, hydrogen as fuel are actually pretty good. Uh, in a lot of ways, uh, hydrogen is safer than jet fuel. Not only safe, but scalable. Before 2030, we will have a 100-seat aircraft in the air on this technology. Initially, uh, up to 1,000 miles, uh, but then expanding to uh, uh, longer and longer distances and larger aircraft. So 20 years out, uh, uh, trans-ocean flight uh, should be possible.